Hello, welcome to this edition of the Weekly Word. Father Ed here. Father Dominic. Uh, we are contemplating and preparing our hearts and our minds and our preaching uh, for the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And as maybe I'm hoping you realize uh, by now, uh, we are in the midst of the five weeks of the Bread of Life Discourse at the Sunday Mass. And the Bread of Life Discourse comes from the sixth chapter of St. John's Gospel. And so, uh, in this week, and of course, the letters of St. Paul, by the way, in the second readings, well, all the readings, the readings are so great in this Bread of Life Discourse. So the Old Testament reading is a famous one. We sometimes do it at uh, funerals. Uh, uh, on this mountain, the Lord of hosts uh, from the prophet Isaiah uh, will set the feast, wisdom, or maybe it's wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Yeah. Book of wisdom. Wisdom has set her feast in this rich wine and uh, rich food. And uh, so, and then St. Paul has talked to us about the way we ought to behave ourselves and uh, to give, uh, sing songs and hymns and, uh, and also to constantly give thanks to God. And of course, then uh, Jesus has the confrontation with the Jews continues. Uh, and they said, well, how can he give us his flesh to eat? You know, because Jesus repeats that. And so then Jesus doubles down on this and kind of gets really earthy and starts to describe how explicitly he means that a Christian follower has got to eat his body and drink his blood. And, you know, I think... Uh, what we can see in the bread of life discourse is just repetition and repetition. Like, okay, I get it, Jesus. But I think all of this uh, is a deepening and uh, an emphasizing of uh, this this spirituality of uh, of Eucharist. Um, and and so, if Jesus just said one time, "Yeah, just eat my eat my body, drink my blood." Um, then it'd be easy to kind of say, okay, well, he's, he's just, just messing around, <laughs> just being a little, you know, goofy. A poetic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but then he's like, no. And so by this point, I think he's about tripling down. Um, and I, I think uh, by the time he's speaking, uh, he's saying, you know, this time to the Jews about gnawing on his flesh. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, drinking his blood. Um, he's really talking about how, uh, you know, we need uh, Christ as our substance. You know, we, we need to depend on God. And, and um, God, is, God is our friend. Uh, you know, Jesus is, uh, you know, hel helps us in life. but. Um, most importantly, Jesus is our substance, uh, and and you know if we don't lean on Christ uh, on the Euchar in the Eucharist uh, in our daily lives, then we're we're missing the point. And I think uh, while the Jews he's speaking to uh, at the time had no uh, had very little ability to really comprehend what was going on. We can look at the scripture and, and see the deep uh, spirituality and truth um, as as Catholics, you know, who are able to receive uh, every day, let alone every Sunday, and are are hopefully able to make that the centerpiece of our life. Right. So uh, the question it seems to me that Jesus is presenting to all of us, one of them, is that uh, do you understand that I? want to be and can be your only true source of life uh, and uh, sustenance, substance. Uh, and then the second one is, is that uh, I think it might be for us in the modern era is the critique of how it is that we go about, because, you know, most of us are faithful Catholics, right? We show up, we participate in the Mass. Sometimes we're distracted, I guess. Uh, but the bottom line is that we're going through the ritual 
uh, as it has been handed on to us and has been taught to us. And so I was thinking about, you know, these many mean people now have uh, gluten problems and uh, celiac disease and um, maybe some types of digestive problems like colitis. Uh, and what I understand about those is that there is something uh, irritating the inside of their system so that they cannot properly ingest the nutrients of the food. So they'll, you know, they'll become very thin, they become gaunt, they become pale. And so when you think about that, what I said is that we cannot ingest the nourishment from the food. I didn't say that we can't eat it. You know, so they are eating food, but it's going right through them and it's not being absorbed within them. And so I, I think maybe if we're all guilty of something, those of us that are practicing Catholic, it's not that we aren't going to Mass or being faithful to Mass, but that we are not relying upon the Holy Eucharist for our life, our sustenance, you know. And actually, we are probably relying upon what we might want to call junk food to get us through. So that there's something out there that you are consuming and that you are trying to live off of that isn't worthy. It's, you know, it's just not up. It's just, it's not in there. You remember that Prego sauce, right? You know, the onion, it's in there, mushrooms in there, garlic in there, tomatoes in there. Uh, the stuff that many of us are relying upon to survive our daily lives is empty, not good, not good nourishment. It doesn't have life in it. And so that might be a call for us is to not examine the practice, not even examine, do I believe in Jesus' real body and blood, soul, and divinity, as the bishops are concerned, but what am I coming to the Eucharist for? You know, hmm. um, what am I... What am I hoping and believing that I will get out of it? Of course, Jesus says it's eternal life. Yeah. And I think, uh, you know, when, when we look at, you know, our, our Sunday uh, celebration, um, you know, it, it, it can, especially this, this, uh, Sunday can wake us up to why we're even there, you know, what's motivating us. And yeah, as Father Estac said, um, is, is it really the core of, of our life or are there other things that, that we're kind of leaning on and, and caring about? And I guess the, the biggest thing to be, be wary of is whether the Sunday celebration is just uh, a nice little uh, uh, treat, you know, a spiritual treat in, in the week. And then the rest of the week, uh, you know, we, we, we really kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's my work that fulfills me. It's my family that fulfills me. It's, you know, my uh, enjoyment of, of uh, you know, golf that fulfills me. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think as, as Christians, we, we can fall into this trap. That Sunday is is um, you know sprinkles on on the top of the week, uh, or or Sunday is you know nice uh, a boost, nice like energy, or or a, a vitamin um, supplement. Mm -hmm. um, but all of that is missing the point that Christ is is really uh, hitting home, is that Sunday is 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 not you know uh, the the plus. Sun Sunday is the the heart the meat and with without it um, life is empty the world is empty right so great so let's uh, gather again for this Sunday obviously and maybe this time maybe for the first time let's eat his body and drink his blood with the intention of rediscovering the rich life that he is offering us in it All right. Peace. Have a good week.
great. Thank you.